everyone uh you ever wonder how those towers get on the side of buildings up on uh, big old stanchions and stands uh, we're going to show you a quick video on how that happens today For those of you who've been in the processing industry, whether that be food, chemical, whether that be uh, plastics, injection molding, or extrusion, you know that there are several different styles of evaporative cooling, meaning open loop or closed loop uh, towers, abiotic chambers, and besides the processing differences between those two, you will notice that there's a difference in the, the way that the stand is built and the, the function of where the system operates in order to achieve its final goal. Today, we're only showing you the, open, the, old, the traditional style of open loop cooling tower. More later on the abiotic closed loop cooling systems. They got uh, one quarter locked in place, which is their anchor, their lock, and then they'll bring on the rest of the uh, bolting uh, from top platform onto the legs. Uh, you see we built those legs earlier, put those up, drove the platform back. Next we'll be putting on the deck. It's very important to get those legs squared to the platform itself and then on the pillars, those concrete pillars you see there at the bottom, those are extremely important to make sure that you're, you're square and tight. Also notice on those pillars, those were poured uh, about two weeks ago, needed to dry. And of course, they're showing the top meh, 18, 20 inches above the ground, but they go about four to six feet deep into the ground. And that all depends on your soil sampling and the testing done prior. Next, we got to unwrap and uh, place on the deck. Then we start our piping. So what you'll notice next is that the, uh, uh, the bedded truck, which is our crane, is, uh, is locking down now. That, that bed there gives us the ability, not all cranes are the same, but that bed gives us the ability to load a product and drive it to a location. If you noticed earlier, there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of uh, cords and interference for just a straight crane to lift and and uh, place or pick and place a, uh, a particular product. In this in this in this instance, it's the uh, tower system. So as the guys are now pulling 
the flooring or decking into place, the grating that you see there. Um, the truck is wrapping up and uh, headed over to now load the tower and the motor fan system that goes on top of the open loop cooling tower. They're uh, wrapping up now and headed over uh, to bring that into place as soon as they put this decking in, in uh, position. Laying in the full flooring, getting ready for the tower to come in. Is the motor gonna go on top of the tower which draws air across water gravity flowing creating evaporation which cools the water this is the warm water side of a, of a production facility the warmer water side probably cools down to 80 90 miles uh, degrees versus the chiller which will cool the water down um, typically 50, 55 degrees. Gotta be watching these wires right here. dollars and cents now the the key to this whole situation of what we're going through right now is to get these guys this crane in and out as fast as possible you want to you know we're, we're bidding at uh, two to three hours we're sitting right at about two hours and 15 minutes right now so uh, we're gonna hurry up and uh, stay safe and get this crane uh, out so we can uh, move on to the rest of the project
Yeah, we got left now is uh, Rusty's arm buckle. Somebody else is going to uh, paint this. And we got an electrician coming in, some wiring. And then of course, we got to do the main piping that uh, Bob was talking about earlier. And uh, obviously, they're in the middle of cleanup now. Going to do hit, hit a couple of button up things up on the on the decking. They'll, uh, they'll hit a couple pack welds along the side just to secure the grating. The electrician's got to come in, do some uh, electrical work. Painter come in. That, my friends, is how a tower goes up on the side of a building when you see that cooling requirement next to a production facility. Go ahead. Through the process, we start pumps coming and install those. Install the uh, pipe for the cooling tower outside and the pumps. Get the filter pipe in the bypass until the nitrogen is 